If I could describe Chalk in one word, the word that comes to mind is heart. In one word, I would say community. The closest thing that I could say would be family. It's a toss up between two different words, love and beauty. In one word, I would say friendly. That's the first word that comes to my mind, and I think it's what people feel when they come in the door. I think there's always been a spirit of generosity at Chalk that you know reaches out, whether it's to um, up-and-coming artists who haven't had a venue to show in, and so this gives them a new opportunity. You know, the emerging artists, or whether it's like I mentioned, being able to work with um, young children and have a positive influence to show them that they can be creative, that this is accessible. Chalk got its name, um, it's kind of an interesting story. The founding members had gone to a movie that was made in the 70s called Chalk, the Mayan Rain God. And they went to that movie and they were so inspired by the movie that they said, we have got to call the organization Chalk. But we also want it to reflect art, so along with Chalk the Mind Rain God came Chicano Humanities and Arts Council, which is the acronym for Chalk. I saw this thing about Chalk, the Rain God, and I thought, oh, good. You bring the rain so the rain so the flowers can bloom, because that's what we want to do. We do the free Saturday kids art class and we do it once a month, one he time here, one time at Byers Library and one time at Access. And that really draws kids and families from the neighborhood so that we have an active involvement with them. You know, I always say they were here before the art galleries were here, so we need to do something for the neighborhood for free to show them that, you know, we appreciate you and we're glad that we're here and we're glad that you're still here. What Chalk does is allows the artists are in our community, as such as myself, um, to go out there and spread our wings, spread the love that Chalk gives us to our community. So we're artists, well, at first. Then we're educators. So at GALS, we unfortunately don't do art classes during the day, and I just think that it's incredibly important for girls to get that creative outlet. The thing with chalk was that it wasn't just one specific realm of art. You know, we've had everything from ceramics to visual art to print, stuff like that. So each semester it's been a different class for the girls and I think that that's really great for them to get a variety. To participate in this after school program, it's like really good because I'm able to just express myself. It's fun because like we kind of get freedom to do what we want with the art and we don't like they're not telling it he's not telling us like exactly what we have to draw and like we get to make our own decisions it feels kind of freeing like um i'm able to and i'm not really sure how to describe it it just feels i guess it makes me feel like i'm special A lot of people say it's their favorite place to come on First Fridays because we are providing something that's somewhat unique, um, being a gallery and also a cultural center that promotes educational programming. It's like a spiritual thing for me. It's, it helps me be calm, it helps me serenity, and, and I, I wouldn't even dream of going back to the old days because then we're in fun. And, and with this, I get to express myself. I get to show people what I really am. So many kids have said, if I wasn't here doing art, who knows what I would be doing? Who knows where I would be? For a lot of children, especially ones that um, are economically disadvantaged, the opportunity to find that perhaps they have a talent um, that would not be being cultivated maybe at home or even at school and to find that kind of freedom that people find through their creativity, because it's not just about being artistic, I think it's about being creative. So I think it's just offering people something that's more of the spirit, and um, which is good for everyone. This gives meaning to people. You know, when, when, whether the person's showing the art or, or volunteering or, or whatever, and, and to me, it's like, wow. Art is, is 
It's so valuable. I remember growing up as a kid and there was an after school program across the road and I'm an artist today. I mean, it inspired me and I think it can inspire kids in so many different ways. We wanted to create not just a, a platform for artists to express themselves, but for art, a temple to art. That art was the, 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 the thing that expressed the soul of a community. 